But what's up everybody? So today I'm hanging out with Mr. Matt the Enthusiast. <laughs> this guy. What right up there. guys? And we are going to Shine Auto Project for two reasons. One, Matt purchased some side skirts that have been apparently difficult to mount, and so he's gonna get them mounted on the on his Z, which is right here. And also, I'm hoping we can get a chance to check out the prototype bumper from Shine Auto, which Matt has worked with them on bringing the Nismo version three exterior to a hopefully more cost-effective method. Because yeah. as you know, the front bumper is like $1,200, the rear bumper is $1,400. And so Shine has kind of done something dope and made it, uh, made replicas. Um, if it's dope, I might even get one because I need a new front bumper for my next one. And yeah, he, so, does. yeah, he does. Yeah, mine's, mine's pretty smashed. So we're gonna jump into Matt's car and then we're going to go check out Shine. So we'll see you guys in a bit. Okay. All right, so we're in Matt's car now, which is weird being on the passenger side of the Z. I'm usually the driver, but He's the driver today. That's right. So we're gonna get to Shine Auto and we'll show you guys what's going on there. All right, guys, so we are here at Shine. Um, Matt's car is, you know, parked over here in the corner like that. There's a lot of dope stuff here. There's beautiful GC8 uh, Impreza. There's a dope RX-7 here. And then we're gonna walk in through. So I'm gonna show you these cars real quick and then we'll go inside and check out the Carbon Nismo Shine bumpers for the V3. So let's show it right here. getting his side skirts installed on his Z. We're doing a lot of work to get these things on. Um, apparently his paint was too smooth to allow the side skirts to properly adhere and mount to the OEM side skirt piece. So they're gonna install them here at Shine and uh, we'll show you some quick glimpse of that. So what's going on with this? My car is cursed, first off. Because anytime I want to modify the car, there's always something that goes wrong. So I'm the only person who orders the Shine P3 side skirts where they won't stick to the car. Like, like the perfect skirts, but the 3M tape won't stick to the car for some reason. We think it's because it's too smooth, which is weird to say, because I've never heard of that. So what we're doing now is we're gonna take off the side skirts. We're gonna lift the car up on the race ramps here. And we're gonna have the car lift up. We're gonna take off the side skirts and clean them up and then directly put on the skirt on the actual side skirt separately from the body and clamp it down and hold it there for, I'm guessing like 30 minutes maybe. Make sure that actually the tape seats perfectly on the side skirt. Because if it doesn't, again, like it's like the sixth time I've done this, if it doesn't work this time, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna cry, I'm probably gonna cry. Thank you again, by the way, thank you. Uh, Matt, what do you think about your side skirts? I mean, my stock ones or the ones I'm, I'm trying to get? The ones you're trying to get. I mean, they look amazing. It's just, will they stay on? That's the question, that's the million dollar question. Will they stay on? Dum, dum, dum. Look we'll at that pretty suey behind us. That's pretty. Not as pretty as you. I know, I'm pretty. <laughs> He's always trying to get my pants. So weird. When you have a Nismo, other Z owners try to jock you. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> uh, are we done yet? No. Are we there yet? No, bro. Are we done yet? We ain't even close. What are you doing? Wiping it down. Why are you wiping it down? Did you ask me to? I thought this was a race car. It is a race car. So why are you wiping it down? Because I was told to. But didn't you wipe it down before and the tape didn't stick? Yep. But I'm doing what I'm told. What's the saying? So no one can blame me. Do something once, it's a learning experience. Do something twice, it's foolish. You're gonna be here because we have the master <laughs> here. The master, that's why. Yeah, yeah, more space. Yeah, I got lucky you were here. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, this is Ken from Shine Auto. We are introducing our Nismo version 3 replica kit. But the special thing about this particular replica kit, it is a vacuum infused hybrid carbon part. Meaning it has certain accents in areas where the original Nismo would have been painted gray. The reason why we did this is because we wanted a more exotic look for this iconic bumper. Also, we for the USDM market, we got rid of the side markers so you can run canards for a more clean track look. Now, the reason why we have to vacuum infuse this particular part as, as opposed to conventional hand layup technique is because there's a lot of intricate detail in this bumper that can't be made by hand, actually. So 
So we have to resort to a sophisticated vacuum bagging techni technique to get into certain details. You can see certain things. This part right here, this grill, it's very tight. You cannot, you cannot make that by hand. Even these, very hard to do consistently by hand and do them right. So vacuum bagging technique gets all the carbon into the tight areas, the tight sharp areas, which results in a high end exotic look. Same thing goes for the rear bumper. Lots of details. It's carbon accident where areas where they were painted by Nismo, just to give a more exotic look if the customer wants it. Not a, not easy products to make by any means. You know, I don't know how long we're gonna be doing this for because they are very difficult to make but we wanted to challenge ourselves to do it but the main reason why we even got to doing this project is because our customers contacted us because they wanted lower cost solutions to the authentic Nismo pieces you know at the time you know these are $1,200, $1,300 from Nismo same thing with the front bumper you know we figure we can do a more cost effective solution uh, at the same time while we have the molds we can challenge ourselves to do the carbon accident version when we started this project I was not 100% confident we could do it but we actually pulled it off turned out great not easy to do by any means. If this is something you like, you know, give us a call. We feel that if we didn't do it, no one would have been able to do it. <laughs> so if you guys want to see some more of the V3 replica parts from Shine, you can check them out at shineautoproject.com. Um, also, feel free to give them a call if you have any questions like that. Seeing the products in person and up close and me being an, an actual Nismo owner, I understand that, you know, OE bumpers, $1,200 and stuff like that. And it's and then you have to buy the little knickknacky pieces that go on the Nismo bumper and underneath it and you know if you gotta replace a bumper it can become a two thousand dollar job very quickly with before paint so this is really dope the products are really nice like i said if you want the carbon bottom pieces you can see that you know the carbon goes all the way around what would normally be the k11 colored accent pieces um and these canners are really nice uh, i believe you start off with the M mcr that's the mcr yeah and they're super thick nice quality you can guys see here so you can also check them out. I believe some of this stuff is on the website or it's not on the website. It's way not even yet. on the website. It's not even on the website yet. <laughs> Dang, this is an exclusive. So uh, yeah, like I said, get in contact with Sean. The They'll know what they're talking about. Um, and you can check it out. They have the front bumper, they have the canards, they have the rear bumper, and they have the side skirts as you've seen getting mounted to Matt's car. So check them out. And if you guys want to see some more, let them know. All right, so we are leaving Shine. Um, Matt is very nitpicky about his car, so he's gonna go to Nissan and pick up some of the clips uh, that broke when we were moving the side skirts. And he's gonna come back tomorrow and they're gonna have it all bolted up and ready to go. And they'll get it on the car. I will not be here tomorrow. I have some other things to attend to. However, I will meet up with Matt and so you guys can see the final product of the side skirts on the car. Several days later. <laughs> oh, that's, that's even I had a, I had a Okay, so I caught up with Matt, and now we've got to get the story of what <laughs> took so long for his side skirts to be mounted to the car. So, Matt, could you enlighten us a little bit? Okay, so here's the thing. Usually with side skirts, any aftermarket part like that, it's 3M tape, super strong, sticks on the body of the car, no problem. Yeah. Now, Shine has just made, you know, Nismo V3 side skirts in carbon fiber, and so I think I had one of the early batches of them. Um, and I think maybe there was a little bit of a bowing to it or something. We're not sure, but no matter what I would do, it would not stick to the car. I, I clay barred it, I cleaned it, I wiped it down with alcohol, everything. It just would not stick to the car. So we thought about maybe sanding down part of the car and then putting on the tape. In fact, Shine said maybe we could do that. Maybe, I mean, I know it sounds weird, but they're like, maybe it's just, your paint's too smooth. So there's nothing for the, for the, for the tape to actually click on, or I mean, uh, stick on, so. Too smooth. That didn't make any sense, but we're like, all right. So I go back, they're like, you know what, let's just do it the right way. You said you're never gonna take them off? I said, no. I said, okay. They want to rivet them, rivet the skirt onto the onto the, the body. Okay. So, and, so they actually like riveted the skirt pieces to your OEM side skirt. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And luckily when you do that, the side skirt can still come off. It's not an issue actually. Like, you yeah, can, you can just grind the weld down and No, you you even have to. The whole side skirt will look like the actual piece on the body, if you have to ever change the side skirt itself to bring it off the car, you can. It doesn't interrupt anything. Oh, okay. It literally just sticks onto the side skirt and you can remove the entire piece whenever you want. Okay. There's no issues. So other than that, now that's riveted on, I mean it's not gonna go anywhere and I actually appreciate it being riveted on because I'm gonna track the car eventually. If I go off, I don't wanna rip anything out. Um, so it looks good now, it's flush with the body. I, I love it, nice OEM plus. And you know, as a guy who never got a Nismo, I'm like this guy, which I'm super jealous about. You're gonna get yours. Um, yours will be better, yours will be better than mine. One day, one day, one day. But yeah, I like it. So far, Shine products are amazing. So a lot of people have commented Yo, about Gio? the fitting. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> God damn. This is why I don't deal with Matt. No? 
<laughs> this is why Mismo Z owners don't hang out with non Mismo Z owners. You want to come with us? No, I came down from. He Florida. didn't hear oh, any of that. To to so people have talked about the fitment with Shine. What are your thoughts on the fitment? Like, I've seen the bumper. Obviously, I haven't seen it onto a car yet, so we can't really justify or we can't vouch for the bumpers. But the quality of the bumpers look really good. The quality of the canards look really good. The quality of the side skirts are really good. So. With the side skirts, would you say, how is the fitment? Because I know that's a lot of people's concern. See, here's the thing. With the ones that we have now, if you could get them to adhere to your body, it's perfect. Because the parts that actually come close to the body were, were absolutely like tight fitment, like almost OEM like style fitment. Um, again, it's a replica, so it won't be spot on perfect, but it was damn near close. So I got a one out of a 10, you'd say If like I had to give it something, because mine might be a little bit of like an offshoot, I want to say on average, their parts in general are nine. I think mine right now is like an 8.58, 8, uh, just because I think it was like the early batch. Remember, they just made these parts. Okay. So, you know, got to give them a little bit of a yeah, leeway yeah, yeah. there. But in general, it's usually a 9 out of 10. Okay, cool. Yeah, like I said, I had a Shine V2 bumper. I was happy with the fitment. It lasted eight years, and I daily drove the car, daily drove the car so I had no issues. I excited to see a, the Shine bumpers, V3 bumpers, on an actual car and see, like, the whole kit total. Um, like I said, I actually need to replace my front bumper, so we'll see. Matt, I think, is going to get the full kit. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the, the front first, and then even Ken from Shine, he's like, you know what, Matt, don't run, don't get the rear. He, he told me not to get the rear for right now. He's like, just get the front and sides that you have now, see how it looks, because he's like, I think it'll look clean with my already Shine diffuser. diffuser. Yeah. You know, so, but I'll definitely get it too. Uh, I, I don't think you're getting the carbon fiber one, right? No, I'd probably get the regular FRP. The regular, so you can paint it? Yeah, because <clears throat> my bumpers are all the factory OE ones, and so if I get the carbon ones, then I'm not gonna have carbon side skirts. Right. Uh, you know, so it I'm, looks, just gonna, I'm just gonna paint right. mine. Yeah the full K11. So, but that's it, cool. So if you guys wanna see more of the products, uh, I know Sharon is working on getting them out. Um, I, you know, have pictures and stuff like that that I will post up and then of course, the video here. Hope you guys liked the video. If you wanna see more Shine's products, you can check them out at their website, which I'll link down below. Definitely hit the subscribe button and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at GETBTW. So until then, turn miles into smiles, guys.